Welcome back. This is part two um, of a response to one of our commenters' questions. And thank you so much, Chocolate Babe, for your question. Um, and they ask, do you have tips on how to better body lines? I'm fit, but bulky. So I need to tone it down a little bit. Um, so I am going to post a link in the description to part one in case you want to see that. And to be clear, you do not have to be a stick to be a beautiful ballroom dancer. Um, there even have been very successful professional world ranked championship level couples um, who are mesomorphs. Um, for example, Franz Mousseau, beautiful dancer, mesmerizing to watch. I think I'll, I'll find a video um, of her for you guys and post that in the description too, in case you want to check that out. Um, so even the most successful professional competitors who are generally more skinny um, than the amateurs um, are rarely truly skinny. Okay, guys, we do have a lot of muscle. We just have a low body fat percentage. Okay, so it might be an illusion that we're little sticks out there, but it's very rare that you would look like that typical, I'll say supermodel figure. It, a dancer definitely has very specifically a different body. I think the ballet culture is a little different and that seems to be all sorts of, of eating disorder messed up. Apologize if you're a, a ballet dancer. That's just my interpretation from the limited experience I've had in the ballroom world or the ballet world. But I, I have not really seen that in the, the ballroom world, guys. Um, but some coaches do feel strongly that you should look very slender or slim. Um, and... Honestly, I have personally seen coaches who um, repeatedly, many coaches told my partner, because he had a little bit of a challenge. He was definitely a mesomorph and probably um, higher than healthy BMI when I first met him and started dancing with him. Um, and they had a number of suggestions for him um, to, um, as you say, tone it down a little bit. Um, I also, and guys, I do, I'm not happy I saw this, but I will share it with you. I've seen my own coaches um, have a couple fly in to see them for visiting coaching that wanted to uh, take lessons with them. And one of that pro partnership said, I will not waste our time, meaning your time and my time, coaching you because you're not going to be able to achieve um, competing successfully in the open championship level without losing X pounds and it was like a lot, it was 20, 25 pounds. Um, and you know, when they left, he said, you know, I just don't want to mislead them. If they want to, you know, be national finalists, this is what they're gonna have to do. Um, and he, uh, and like me, it was a bit of a set point theorist. I do feel like God made your body to look a certain way and you can only roll as best you can with what DNA has given you, okay guys? Um, and you know what? It's probably not as bad as you think. We are always our own worst self-critic, okay? Um, now, what I'm saying does not necessarily apply to the, again, open professionals, a little different, competing open amateur. Certainly, there is more pressure to be slim. But if you're doing prom, hey, don't worry about it. I have never once heard a pro throw shade at an amateur prom dancer who was too bulky or too muscular doesn't exist. They know you're not a professional. Okay, guys. Um, and honestly, this might come as a shock to you. I have heard more criticism of um, only championship level dancers, but championship level men who have gained too much weight than women. So in my opinion, frankly, in the ballroom world, there's even more pressure on the men to stay slim. So I found that to this day to be fascinating um, and just kind of unique to the ballroom culture. Okay, guys. Um, now, I have heard some dieting tips. They vary coach to coach. Um, our coaches recommended if to bulk down on muscle um, to cut out protein temporarily until you get to that size you want. Um, and not only did they recommend cutting out protein, but they recommended only eating corn and potatoes. 
I am not personally recommending this diet. I am only passing this along because it was a legitimate question and I wanna give you an honest kind of industry insider's answer. That's what I've heard. I would never recommend that to my students, but that's me. And I know what, I'm not a world champion, so take that with a grain of salt, I guess. <laughs> um, it doesn't sound healthy to me, um, but it did work. I saw it work on them. And in all honesty, you know, um, if you look at kind of, and there's totally access to kind of online kind of protein calculators um, from legitimate medical sources online. Um, you know, for me, I deliberately consume 25 to 50 grams of protein daily. This varies based on your, your body uh, weight, your BMI. Okay, guys. Um, but if I do, you know, sometimes I'm just too full to eat that much. And if I, for whatever reason, uh, maybe I'm under the weather or something, if I'm sick to my stomach, certainly I don't eat protein because that's harder on your stomach than um, carbohydrates. But if I were to cut out protein, say three days in a row, I definitely notice the difference. And I do lose muscle mass pretty fast, right? Because muscle is synthesized from protein, okay? Um, Number one, please do not crash diet to achieve this. You really don't want to lose more than, say, two pounds a month max, guys. I know that takes great patience, but you're going to get long-term results from that, okay? Um, it's going to damage your heart um, and your cardio if you keep futzing around every month, going up and down and up and down um, with your weight and your muscle mass. The last thing you want to do is hurt your like muscle mass, for example, and your heart muscle, okay, guys? Um if your parents are mesomorphs, don't expect to be built like a stick. That's just not going to be in your DNA. But you can work the best with what you've been given, okay? Um, my coaches always recommended absolutely no weightlifting, not even cardio, because if you're dancing hard in your practices, that there's your cardio. And that's exactly the type of cardio you're going to need in your in your comp rounds, right? Um they did recommend if you do exercise outside of dancing, if you want to slim down the muscles, focus on flexibility, for example, yoga and Pilates. Okay, I personally have not had the patience to do that. I've occasionally taken these classes. I get a little bored. I'm more of a goer and doer and shaker, but I'm also naturally very flexible. So if I weren't honestly and I wanted to perform to my best, I would do that. So yoga, Pilates, exercises, okay guys? Um, now grass is always going to be greener on the other side, guys. Okay. Um, my suggestion is to treat your body as a gift that it is. Okay. Um, and you really can only be your own personal best. And there is truly no such thing as an ideal body in this world. You're going to have your ideal. 10 other people are going to have 10 different ideals. And as I always say to my daughter, you can be the most juicy, sweet, huge, amazing peach in the world, and some weirdo out there ain't gonna like peaches. So be your own best peach, okay? <laughs> um, now there are some postural tips I can share with you, um, as well as things we can do with our body, our physical body, our ankles, our feet, um, our chest, to make your body lines um, look better and improve them on the floor. So chocolate babe, I am gonna address that, but I really need like a full body video to demonstrate those things, okay? So I will follow up um, on that with some actual dancing things you can do that in my opinion are more beneficial than cutting out muscle, but that's my two cents. Um, so if you've had, you know, maybe you're a dietitian, maybe you're a doctor, maybe you're a personal trainer, maybe you've had personal experience in spot reducing muscles. If you know how to do that, hey, comment below and what's been successful for you. Um, and thank you so much for your question. If you ever have questions you'd love me to kind of delve into. I am a big old vat of, of ballroom dance experience. I've been doing this pretty much my whole life. So please ask. It makes it so much easier for me to share videos that have content that kind of you want to see. Um, I love that. So thank you so much, Chocolate Babe. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the morning. Thanks for joining me today. Good luck with your dancing, guys. Bye.